गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज सुमित खंडेलवाल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग एट एम आई टी अकेडमी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आरंदी एम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वट डू मीन बाई पाइथन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड कंसेप्ट देन नेक्स्ट इज वॉट इज पाइथन पाइथन इज हाई लेवल इंटरप्रिटेड इंटरक्टिव ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज देन पाइथन इज अ हाई लेवल वाई वी से इट्स अ हाई लेवल Python is designed to be highly readable. It is used in English keyword frequently, as well as pure syntactical construction than other language. It is interpreted. Python is an interpreted language because Python process at runtime by the interpreter. You do not need to compile your program before executing it. This is similar to the Perl and PHP. Python is interactive language you can easily seek python prompt and interact with interpreter directly to write your program python is object oriented scripting language it means that python support object oriented style or technique that can encapsulate code within an object you can also say python is a beginner level language so we can say that python is a great language for the beginner level programmer and support the development of wide range of application from simple text processing to the browser based application to the game based application then oh it's time for activity then our question is that python is object oriented programming language answer is true so we submit our question then answer is correct now to be continue history of python Python was developed by Goryeo von Drossen in early 19 at National Research Institute for Mathematics and Computer Science in the Netherlands. It was derived from various other languages such as ABC, Modula 3, C, C++, Algo 68, Smalltalk and Unix shell programming. Python is copyrighted like a Perl but python source code is now available under gnu general public license then python is now maintained by the core development team of that institute then we move into the next point features of python there are a number of features relate uh, deal with the python that is easy to learn easy to learn means python has a very few keyword that is reserved word simple in structure and clearly defined syntax this follows the student to pick up the language quickly easy to read python code is more clearly defined and visible to the eyes easy to maintain it means python source code is fairly easy to maintain a broad standard library python has a bulk of library which is very portable and support to cross platform such as unix windows and any other python is a portable portable it means python ca can run on wide variety of hardware platform and has same interface on all platform database it means that python provide interface to all major commercial database gui programming python support gui application that can be created and ported to the many system call libraries and windows system and last we say python is a scalable it means that python provide a better structure and support for the large program than shell scripting then next again time for activity we start our activity who was developed python denis richi no denis richi was developed a c would you want us them yes this is a correct answer so i submit my question continue okay the next question is object oriented concept python is an object oriented programming language but a question is that what do you mean by object oriented object oriented programming is a programming model where programs are organized around an object 
and data rather than action and logic object oriented allow decomposition of problem into the number of entity called as an object then build the data and function around this object then we can see the data of an object can be accessed only by the function associate with that particular object and function of one object can access the function of another object then there are some important features of object oriented programming first one is an object what do you mean by object we we talk about an object we can be talking about all sort of thing object can represent a person that is we can define a person with the help of some properties such as name age and address or we can define any company with some property such as number of employees name of name of employees name of companies are the property associate with that particular company then this can be see as an object this object is a one type of thing that is runtime entity then we can say a class what do you mean by class to define a class in typical python in typical python manner we use a word as a class followed by class name in object oriented language it must to be create a class for representation of data data is sorry class is a blueprint of object that can contain the variable or storing the data and function to performing operation on this particular data class will be occupy many memory space hence it is a logical concept abstraction what do you mean by abstraction the representation of essential feature without representing the background details abstraction provide you a generalized view of your class or object by providing relevant information abstraction is the process of hiding the working style of an object and show the information of an object in understandable manner then we can conclude about abstraction abstraction shows the common thing then we consider here one example if somebody in your college tell to fill one particular form at that moment you fill some entities such as name your address your date of birth your semester your percentage why a doctor will give you an application to fill the detail at that moment you fill name address date of birth blood group height and weight weight see the above example what is the common thing name age and address are the common thing in both example then we can see we consider this thing or this particular class as a abstract class that class is not a complete and it can be inherited by the other class then next point that is encapsulation encapsulation means wrapping up a data member and method together into the single unit that is class it called as encapsulation encapsulation is like enclosing in a capsule that is enclosing the related operation and data related to an object into the that object encapsulation is a like your bag which consists of pen book pencil it is it means this property of encapsulating the member and function encapsulation means holding the internal details of an object that is how an object does something encapsulation prevent client from seeing its inside view where the behavior of abstraction is implemented encapsulation is a one technique used to protect the information of an object from other object then we consider here one example that is operation performed on tv 
then as we consider at all component which is to be available inside the TV are covered with plastic box if you want to operate the TV at that moment you people use a remote but we not open each and every component for changing the channel then here everything is in private except remote so that everyone can access not to operate and change the things in a T. Next, inheritance. When the class acquire the property of another class known as an inheritance. Example is the child acquire the property of parent. So we can say that inheritance is a process of object reusability. Next one is polymorphism polymorphism means one name many form means one function behave like different form in other word we can say that many forms of single object is called as an polymorphism we consider here one example to explain polymorphism a teacher behave with student is one type of behavior a teacher behave with its senior as another type of behavior here teacher is an object but attitude is different with different condition or different in situation then okay that's the time for activity that is match the item on left with item on right encapsulation encapsulation we can say it's a wrapping of data and member together inheritance means inheritance inheritance is a process of object reusability abstraction means hiding of data polymorphism means one function behave in different form submit answer is correct okay continue general application of python python is used in research for perform various simulation tasks it is support for the various complex mathematical operation it is used to develop various games and animation then next conclusion it is a general purpose programming language python is object oriented it support the object oriented features such as class, its object, encapsulation, inheritance, abstraction, and so on, and easy to use because the syntax uh, or a code of Python is very small as compared to the other programming language. For this presentation, I use different links which are mentioned over here. Thank you. Thank you for watching this presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much.